Hello and welcome to the newsroom. These are the latest updates at the moment. The House of Representatives has commenced the screening of the service chiefs recently appointed by President Bola Tinubu. The screening committee was led by the majority leader of the House, Julius Ihamburi. The session follows the Senate's first screening and confirmation of the appointment of the service chiefs. President Bola Tinubu has asked the election tribunal to dismiss the petition seeking to nullify his election on the grounds that he did not secure 25 percent of the lawful votes cast in the federal capital territory. The president, through his counsel, Wale Olanipeko, in a final written address to the tribunal against the petition, said the FCT is a 37th state for electoral purposes and any other interpretation would lead to absurdity, chaos, anarchy and alteration of the very intention of the legislature. The federal government has withdrawn the mobile police force personnel attached to several very important persons, including ex-governors, former ministers and lawmakers. The order, which was contained in a police wireless message from Mopal 45 Force Headquarters at Abuja, comes a few weeks after the acting Inspector General of Police, Kayode Ebek Tokun, vowed to withdraw police mobile force personnel from VIP escorts and guard duties. The RGB says this will allow the police to take back its place in the internal security architecture of the country. And the India High Commission in Nigeria has assured of the country's preparedness to collaborate with the Nigeria energy sector in ensuring its smooth energy transition agenda. India High Commission in Nigeria said this while on a tour of the Indian Pavilion as they just concluded Nigeria Oil and Gas Energy Week conference and exhibition in Abuja. The Commission says India is playing a good role in re renewable energy because it has some expertise in that area and plans to collaborate with Nigeria in that regard, having that there are huge opportunities for both countries to leverage on. And G20 finance ministers and central bank chiefs have opened talks on debt restructuring deals, multilateral bank reform and finance to tackle climate change as they aim to bolster a sagging global economy. The group of 20 major economies will also discuss multilateral development banks reform, cryptocurrency regulations and making access to financing to mitigate and adapt to the impact of climate change easier. A newly agreed first step on a fairer distribution of tax revenues from multinational firms reached by 138 countries last week is also set to be delivered. And in sports, Carlos Alcaraz has won the Wimbledon men's singles title for the first time by ending Novak Djokovic's recent dominance with a stunning victory. Spain's Alcaraz fought back from a nervy start to win against the defending champion. He was going for a fifth straight win and eighth men's triumph and a 24th major. So far, the 20-year-old is the third youngest man to win the Wimbledon title in the Open era after 17-year-old Boris Becker in 1985 and 20-year-old Bjorn Berg in 1976. That's the latest from the newsroom. Join us at the top of the hour for more updates. Thank you for watching.